Marshall. Tonight, starring Bill Silvers. How are you? With his special guests, Eddie Albert and Betsy Palmer in The Ballad of Louis the Louse. Brought to you by Tang, the instant breakfast drink with wake-up flavor and important vitamin C. It's 
28 years without missing a $10 payment. And a $20 loan. Don't worry, old faithful friend. This type of loyalty will not go unrewarded. I'm going to tell them. Don't try to stop me. I'm going to tell them. Hear this. When this man reaches the age of 95, I don't care how much he owes me, I'm tearing up the IOU. How about that? Oh, I see that look. You say, what a stupid way to do business. What can I do? I'm putty in this man's hands. Putty! <laughs> That's my problem. I'm all hot. Where you go? Oh, Louie, I couldn't make a set this week. I can't. I can't find a job. Whining, always whining. Look, for heaven's sake, what do you want me to do? Rob a bank? Do it. Don't tell me about it. Next. <laughs> right here, Louie. What do I owe? Here we have long shot Leo Dreyer. Am I right? Open the office. Quickly, Harold. What was your code name again? Oh, yes. Pimlico. 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 Here we have it. Pimlico. Original debt, $50. Accumulated of interest, $428. Total, $478. Here you are. All of it. That doesn't happen. To all of yeah. you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me that IOU from your money belt. I am through playing the horses. I'm through with hips and hunches. I'm through with you. I am going back to my wife. Congratulations. You're a true blue loo. Why did you say that? Say what? Well, true blue loo. Oh, just an expression. I never heard you say it before. Oh, I say it a hundred times a day. You mean you didn't know there was a filly named True Blue Lou running in the seventh race at Santa Anita, paying 70 to 1? Really? Ooh, what a hunch. 70 to 1, 50 on the nose. Leo, he counted you. I make 3,500. Help me a check. Quiet, that's how I made a drink four years ago. A stranger came up to me and said, hello, Joe. He had the wrong guy, but hello, Joe came in at Belmont, paid 160 bucks. I can just make post time. Louis 50. It's all common enough. The IOU, please. Wouldn't let him go. The guy wanted out. What? What? It's an expression I use a hundred times a day. Why don't you get lost, you blood sucker? Do I detect a whiskey tenor amongst the heavenly choir? <laughs> Bless my soul. It's Paul Barton, well-known newspaper man. I suppose this recent outburst means you're ready to put some money where your mouth is. You're on my books for, uh... Five hundred dollars. Not this week, Louie. Yeah, I had a little deal, but it fell through. Oh, look, right. Mr. Barton, we're both broad-minded men. Now that girlfriend of yours, Tina Adams, her old man is loaded. Five hundred dollars. You mention one word to her, and I'll put you in jail. In jail? Heavens, what law? Her, you, there's, this state has got you, jury laws, Mr. Cranfield. For the interest you charge, you could get five years. Oh, I can't wait to hear you testify, Mr. Barton. Then you can use your real name of Paul Harrington News. Uh, okay, you win. And then the newspaper world will find out what happened to that brilliant young man who came out of San Francisco five years ago. I want the full of surprise and then disappeared down a bottle. Okay, I, oh, yes, you wouldn't drink in front of my nephew. I do want to drink out the Shut up. I want to go with girls. Shut up. Make the corrections. Yeah. <laughs> Move it. <laughs> well, the gentleman horseman is back from the hunt. True blue, blue, dead last. Dead blue, 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 blue. Where does he get those horses? You ought to be very proud of yourself, Louse. Mother, heart is mad because I've been neglecting her. There it is. Take it. Well, well. I know I'm five dollars short again. Sure, as usual. Long on advice, short on cash. What? Lay it in there. Wriggle. Sleeves. <laughs> Sleeves. Mouth. Wife. <laughs> Dance. Nah. Are you ready to Pass my keys, Uncle Louie. I'll show you. Never mind. If you can't trust your own relatives, what's left? I'm all choked up. Look, Mary, you could wipe out your loan so easily. Now, if I had a daughter married to Jay Huntington Howell with that tremendous home in Connecticut... Stop it, will you? One little phone call... Listen, Louie, I've given you hundreds of dollars. Stella Dallas. It's not my fault, is it, that you got sick three years ago and fell behind in your payments due to my sickness penalty clause? Everybody else has sick benefits. He has sickness penalty. And what about the bookkeeping charges and the double interest rates on national holidays? You can't keep choking on There's got to be a limit. Oh, it's obvious you people don't like the way I do business. No! Then no. why do business with me? There's a Chase National Bank around the corner. Every street's got a finance company. So the next time you need money, don't come to me. I'm quite sure they're just begging to do business with a group of such dependability. So the next time you need money, do me a favor, don't come to me. Regardless.
promise to brace all right. You'll be welcome in any bank. Sit down. Cigarette. Oh, I hope you like our bank. Some notes just came due. You need a loan to see you through. We'll just fill out this application blank. Oh, I'm so glad you chose our bank to do business with. It is a lovely day today, isn't it? My wife's rhododendrons came up. She has a green thumb. You got it. Oh, you're finished. Splendid. Let's see what we have here. Name, Barry Chandler. <laughs> Occupation, Panhandler. Panhandler. Oh, it has such a lovely sound to it. Panhandler. Panhandler. It sings. It sings. I suppose you work all the streets. We like our clientele to have a wide scope, you know. Well, let's see your reference list now. Oh, good. 1937, convicted of vacancy. 1938, vacancy. 1939, vacancy. Loitering. Good, good. We'd like our clientele to diversify their activities. No eggs in one basket for you, huh? Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Let's see what we have in 1950, vacancy. 1952, vacancy, vacancy. 1957, Public nuisance! Congratulations, you made it! It's a success story! Oh, the banks are so eager to do business. An Amiga 6% their only fee. So the next time you need money, don't come to me! Another application for a loan? Oh, isn't this a jolly day for a bank? Let me see what have we here. Name, Leo Dreyer. <coughs> Occupation, horse player. <coughs> horse player, splendid. Oh, if you only know how we bankers welcome your kind of business. Oh, we must have your picture. Oh, no, no. Just the way you are. Those beady eyes, the quivering lips, the trembling hands. Oh, here, let me brush the oats off your lapel. Now, you are listed for Dunham Dodge Street. You have your bed secured. Well, of course you have. I see them right here. What have we? Sam Scratchy. Hot Horse Harry's Horse Selection. Paddock Picks. How can we turn down a loan with such wonderful security? Harristine, open up the halls for Mr. Dreyer, please. Walk right in and take what you want. What? More applicants for loan? How can we turn down loans with such wonderful financial risks? What have we here? Shoplifter. Tire thief. Clip joint steerer. Panhandler. Oh, what a wonderful day for the bank. Choice, that's for sure. Jack, you cook because you're not a